Wow. For the first time in my life, there's no cutscene to the beginning of the game. A little bit of screen tearing going on, not, not too bad though. This was in the past. Oh, nice. I was invited to help test Fragpunk, too. Welcome back. So, I just got an email because I uh, asked to join a playtest for Fragpunk. And they said I'm in. So, I'll be playing that tomorrow. I think it's a new free-to-play first-person shooter comes out on July 1st. So, just started the game, never got anywhere. Seen your phone underground, picked it up. I bestow upon thee this arc phone, and thy mission, seek out all Pokemon. I'm not going to read everything, but I thought that was important. phone you know what's funny Arce, Arceus canonically canonically pronounced Ar, Arceus that's hilarious <clears throat> the Arce, Arceus Arce phone okay let's skip all this I look photosynthesized. Oh, just choice in the game right here. What are we choosing, chat? What are we choosing? Fifty Pokeballs. Holy fuck. You know, one of these days, Pokemon, the small indie company that it is, 
You'll be able to afford voice acting. First time ever I actually got a read tutorial on Pokemon. Pokemon can be capped by throwing Pokeballs at them. Hold down the ZR button. To ready a Pokeball and take aim. You can keep moving around as you do. Use the right stick, okay. Release to throw. If you've ready the Pokeball, you do not want to throw it. Press B to camp. RP. Take that. Tch. How wonderful you've caught a book. So I gotta catch them all anyway. I was kind of worried that uh, that would be my choice. Ashwat, Synth Quill, and Rylan. Those are my three choices. It's, I, it's hard. That's a hard choice, man. Because Ashwat's really good. He turns to steel later. Synth Quill turns into Typhlosion, which is like. That's really hard. To, that's hard to, to not choose, right? And then Rylan. I don't even know what Rylan is. Is he from uh, Sun and Moon? It might be fun to use him because I've never used him before. Grass Pokemon are always shitty starters. Grass Voiding. So he's like four times bad to fly. Wait, what happened? Yeah, rather become grass fight. Okay. Since quote becomes fire ghost. Oh, because this is a different version. And I think Ashra becomes water dark. You know how I feel about Fire Ghost Pokemon. <sighs> what water dark sounds pretty cool too though. Like an actual good water dark type. That's some shitty bass and whatever the fuck that thing is called. Looks like a piranha. I uh, using Ty Explosion is pretty rad. Alright, we'll get we'll get Ty Explosion. I use them. I float. Seek it all Pokemon. <laughs> it's like back in the past. He's like, what an odd device. Convince me, even though I never read anything he said. Cat Jam. That don't look good. Is there like, um, there has to be like a Team Rocket in this, right? So, from what I learned about watching a review from the game, this town has, it's kind of like Naruto, 
like an old Japanese village where they have like a survey corps or attack on Titan where they have like a survey corps, a security a core and then like uh, another kind of core and I think the town is broken up into people that belong to these cores and you can do missions for each core and Which is pretty sick. <laughs> you see the screen like tearing on the right side. This side. I can't see it on the stream, but I can see it on my own screen. I also lowered the resolution, so hopefully it doesn't go like stuttery so much. It's so pixelated during uh, action scenes. He's giving me the tour, but I'm not paying attention. Wait for me at the canteen. It's past the bridge over there on the left, the wallflower, it's called. Why didn't you say that from the beginning? Your arc phone is beeping. Somehow it, it seems to show where you need to go next. Oh, that's a cool little map. Geez, the main Pokemon game needs this. Imagine a freaking map and a marker where you need to go next. Oh my god. He's got a grass mustache. I'm suspicious. Here to move with a grass mustache, boy. my rival. What a horrible person. <laughs> I must defeat her at all costs. Professor. Survey Corps, he's put me in the Survey Corps. All allowance. Captain Selene. Assuming the individual can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. I am the Captain of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You may call me Selene. You look to be 15 or so. She might be the ancestor of the guy from Team Galactic. That makes sense. Quite old enough to work for your keep. But we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us without any idea of their Cyrus' his name is. Without any idea of their skills or origin. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh ho, a most reasonable decision, Captain. You want me to read the story out, or do you want me to skip it? She does look like Cyrus. <laughs> she looks identical, I that. Now, who would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite all right. I prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my meals with that distraction. <laughs> After a while, I start getting right into it. I'll do voices and everything. Aloof as always, I see. Well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversation then, eh? <laughs> 
Benny old chum. It's the usual potato moochie, if you please. We'll make it for three today. I thought he was surprised, but he was excited. Wonderful, st <laughs> wonderful stuff, Benny. Much obliged. Your potato moochie never failed, never fails to please. God, I didn't even check the language. Professor Lav Lavington, where exactly did you meet our visitor here? Ah, well, you know, that great hole in the sky? The one people call the space-time rift? Our new friend fell right out of it. Can't be serious. Come now, I'm a scientist. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena. I concern myself only with facts. Now, you already know there are many Pokemon here in the Husui region. That there are in the grass, in forests, by water, or whatever they like. Our job as a Survey Corps is to research them and find out what kind of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It's all but impossible to know what kind of powers they might possess or what sorts of wondrous things they can do. But that's where Sin will come in. Sin? He successfully caught three Pokemon. Three of them in quick order, you understand? Nobody in the Galaxy team is capable of a feat such as that. This means we could finally begin our Pokemon research in earnest. Three? I think that's because the person who, uh... Uh... You know, originally packaged this is named Sin. I don't think the main character name is supposed to be Sin. <clears throat> Three, we have a hard enough time catching even one when wild Pokemon come after us. Ah, uh, well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled to the beach weren't on the attack. This is a retelling of Genesis from the Bible. <laughs> But the key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well, and it seems our new friend is just enough to do just that. Does the Survey Corps really have the leeway to be enjoying a leisurely meal with this outsider? Your caption just ordered 10 whole portions of Potato Moochie, you know. The slow progress on that Pokedex of yours clearly has her on edge. I'm sure we'll start to rein in the good captain's stress eating soon enough. Now, have your fill, Sin. And think, if you make it to the Galaxy Team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. The team provides for all its members' needs, even if said members fell out of the sky. Damn straight, I'm Survey Corps now. Hoorah! That was quite delicious. Quite delicious indeed. Yes, the food was lovely, but more importantly, you do remember that Sin has a trial to pass to join the Survey Corps, don't you? Not to worry, I have complete confidence in Sin's skills. Let's hope it's not misplaced. Sin, was it? For tonight, at least, we will provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters there. El Yagamon House. If you fail to pass the trial, we'll put we put to you tomorrow. You must move on. You will be expelled from the village to meet your fate and perhaps your death in the wilds. Whoa! Did he did banish me? This is Naruto. Captain Selene's somewhat like wait. <clears throat> Captain Selene's somewhat like Husui, in that they're both quite harsh. Now, now, she simply puts on a stern front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turned in for the night, eh? It's a good thing we can't fall out with the futons we sleep in here. I imagine our new friend has had enough falling for one day. And with that, I bid you both a good night. Yeah, dude, the hat is hilarious, but he was going like... Yes, good night. A rift in the sky, people falling from it. The world is full of mysteries. 
Arce er, Arceus sent me. I require but only one thing, an even thinner cotton shirt to keep me protected. Apparently this game is hard compared to the other Pokemon games. Survey tips contain all sorts of useful information to help you carry out your survey work in the Husui, Husui region. To read them at any time, simply press up on or press the up button to open the menu and go to the help screen. Handy tips for team members. Don't wish your toils to be forgotten. Diligent record keeping will save you from such a fate. Save your progress. Press the up button to open up the menu. Then scroll with the ZL or ZR until you reach the save screen. Alright, all right, I'll figure that shit out. I could start a new file, but it's not really that far in. Rest until tomorrow. Let's go out of here. That's a bee barrel. A bee doof. Is that another person? Dun 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 dun. The next day. Good morning, Sin. Are you up? Quite some lightning last night, wasn't it? Today's the day of your trial, so we're let's give it all, our all. It's a jug used to store drinking water. It has a lid on top to keep debris from falling in. Looks like you can store lots and lots of items in the jets. I don't think I could do anything in here yet. God, it's like Persona Pokemon. What lovely weather we've got. I hope we had a nice sleep, even if this land is strange and new to you. Let's get to headquarters. Captain Selene is waiting. Hmm. I wish you could jump. Maybe you can later. The Survey Corps offices are here on the first floor. Don't give up. Keep those eyes open. The wild Pokemon, they they were everywhere. Attacking from all sides. I said they're my partner Pokemon, but against the whole pack, they're numbered. This is what happens when you go so far afield, but with the Medical Corps, we'll put you to rights. That man's with the security corps, and even with his own partner, he took a beating from wild Pokemon. Without a partner Pokemon of your own, you might as you might find this trial particularly trying. I get it. Captain Celine, Sin is here. You may enter. Let us get straight to it. If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition Team, prove yourself capable by going out to the Obsidian Fieldlands and catching three different species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Catching three Pokemon from the start? No one in the Galaxy Team has ever managed that. Did the stranger not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday? My trial should be simple enough for him. If the professor wasn't exaggerating things, that is. The Galaxy Team does not have the means to provide the, for those who only take without giving. If you wish to stay, you must prove beyond any doubt that you'll be an asset to our cause. She got an Abra, bro. 
I will lend you on our survey corps satchels to carry whatever you may need in the fields. Hell yeah, I got book bag. Hell yeah. World smiles book bag. That satchel doesn't exactly match your er mode of dress. I'm stealing that Abra. Akari. I'll, ex I'll expect you to step in if anything goes awry. Fanny pack acquired, hell yeah. Wouldn't be Pokemon game with that. Yox team's entry trial. Press the Y button while consulting your map on your ARC phone and you can tr check the tasks you have waiting. There are two types, missions and requests. Missions must be completed to progress in your adventure, while requests are optional given to people that you meet given to you by people that you meet. Pardon Sin, come with me a moment. Now then, a jolly good morning to everyone. Is something the matter, Professor Lavington? In order to complete your Pokedex and well, simply survive in this unforgiving land, Sin must pass this trial. Sin absolutely must pass this trial. And as a professor of Pokemon, I've got just a ticket to help accomplish that. Oh, hell yeah. True. Flume. Flish splash. Go on, Sin. Pick the Pokemon that strikes your fancy. With a partner of your own, you'll be able to fight off all the Pokemon inside the village. These little darlings are very dear to me, but it's plain to see you're rather curious about, they're rather curious about you. Well, my boy, which Pokemon would you like to keep as your very own? <laughs> Take Cynthia. <laughs> Foo! Do you want Cynthia as your first partner? Yes. And with that, one of the Pokemon you caught at Prelude Beach for me will now be yours to keep. Good show. I bet he has a British accent. <clears throat> I've tucked Cyntaquil back inside his Pokeball for you. So take it, it's yours. You've received Cyntaquil. A word of advice, my boy? Play. Pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain a Pokeball when you're out in the field. That's good advice. Cuckoo. Plash. <laughs> they look as if you're cheering on their friends at the quill. Or perhaps they're jealous that it gets to help you out on your trial. That could well be. They did go dashing from the village when Sen fell out of the sky after all. Well, not to worry you two, I'll have you assist with me with my research for now. Assist me with my research for now. Ooh, splish splash. By the way, what species has Captain Selene charged you with catching? Well, that's smashing. All three of those species can be found in the obsidian field plans. Let me give you some Pokeballs to use during your trial then. You obtain 20 Pokeballs on top of your other 50. These Pokeballs may be handcrafted, but they work as a treat, as you've already seen. You have this trial cleared in no time. I guess you're finally ready. You'll have to leave the village for your trial. Turn left after you exit headquarters, then head for the gate. I wonder if there's anything you can get in here before you leave. I'm screwed. I doubt it. Head left. Gate. Wait, how do I run? Oh, there goes one. Holy shit, first person mode! Whoa! You gotta hold it though while you're walking. <laughs> Oh, what a curious getup you have there. Oh shit, game changer indeed. I can not I can already tell you're quite the character. <laughs> I'm the main character, okay? I'm Volo of the Ginkgo Guild. And 
go-to choice for any of your mercantile needs here in Hussoy. I've heard talk about you. Fell from the sky, didn't you? Nah, that's certainly a tale I'd like to hear. Oh, and you've a Pokemon. You're certainly full of interesting surprises. Investigating the odd and novel is key to any good merchant success. So, what do you say? How about you and I see how our Pokemon stand up to one another in a battle? Sounds good. Whoa, is he my actual rival? I like you better and better. What a delightful find. I've also heard about this trial you're a two tempt. Let's have a quick battle to get your blood pumping for you pet it. Though I hope you know you'll lose if your Pokemon Pokemon's HP reaches zero. <laughs> Kinko Guild member Volo challenge you to a battle. I already like the characters more in this game. What the hell, Togepi? It's cheating. 52 health at level 5? Oh shit. Is it turn based? Closing Togepi use tackle. It's Togepi's female. It's interesting Cyndaquil only has quick attack. Battle decided. Moves, items, use them well, and the world will open up to you. You're just saying next to your merchant. New move. I think you get different versions of your moves too. Oh, I know there's like agile style and stuff like that. I'm not sure what that means though. It's always good fun to have your Pokemon do battle, don't you think? And as they gain experience through battle, they'll learn more moves and grow even stronger. Pokemon sometimes learn new moves when they level up. If you want to change the moves your Pokemon can use in battle, open your satchel, choose the Pokemon you want, and select the change moves option. I heard that you can level up your Pokemon as soon as they hit the right level from that menu. And you can also change the moves like they just said whenever you want so that's pretty cool but so few people here have their own pokemon if only more knew how to use pokeballs at any rate let me help our two battlers recover from their little exercise and to you my sky fallen friend i present some potions and thanks you obtained five potions 60 HP to a single Pokemon. That's OP as shit, man. You can use them on your Pokemon whenever they might be worn out from battle. Um, I'll be hoping that you're successful on the trail of yours. More Galaxy team members means more customers of yours truly after all. I heard the Pokemon do more damage in this game, but it looks like you have more health and the healing items heal for more too. That's really something. Not only can you catch Pokemon, you can lead them in battle. Now, to the Obsidian Field lands. When you're leaving Jubilee Village, make sure you choose a destination from your map and tell Rez the Guardsman where you're going. That way someone can come to your aid if you're knocked out by a Pokemon. Your trial begins a short way past that front gate. Your sin correct, I was informed you'd be passing through. Your trial will take place inside the safety of the village. Please take care to come back alive. You just go to Fieldlands Camp. Yes. The map is like, uh. I don't know. One of those old school games. This is our base camp. The last safe haven before you reach the wilds. For your trial, you must catch three species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Are you ready to get started? Oh, Professor, is something wrong? Ah, well, you see. Captain Selene got hold of me after you left. She impressed upon me that a 
bear full response that I bear full responsibility for whatever happens to our sudden guest. That's our unsparing captain. But what help exactly can you offer out here, Professor? To be honest, my dear girl, I don't intend to lift a finger. Sin's talents are the real deal. He'll pass with flying colors, you'll see. Ah, so the responsibility for him still lies, in fact, with me, then. <laughs> well, I'm sure Sin will be fine. Let's begin the trial. Hell yeah, dude. Item storage. No, no, no. Must be some kind of workbench. Nothing important. Okay. This is Aspar Aspiration Hill. The species of Pokemon you're meant to catch all of here. Whoa. City and field lands. And along comes B Doof. Time to something, I didn't see it. The key is to aim carefully, not that you seem to need my advice. I'm just sharing what I know. Hold down ZL to focus on a wild Pokemon and keep it in your sights as long as it's nearby. A technique comes in very useful when aiming Pokeballs at a target or when a Pokemon or when dodging Pokemon's attacks. So let's lock on. Beedus has a metal disposition. That means it tends not to run for, from people, so this will be easy. Nah, you can throw a Pokemon or you can throw a Pokeball. I gotta hold it. Mm. Easy clap. Got a bee doof. Well done. Time to find your next book. I can't wait till the tutorial's over. <laughs> There's, there's a starlight. They're skittish little things. They'll run if startled. You should be able to get close to them if you crouch. You'll be harder to spot. Press B to crouch and make it harder for wild Pokemon. Let's see. Press the same button again to rise. If you creep into the tall grass while crouch though, you'll be even harder for wild Pokemon to detect. Oh, is that a leak? Can you see me? No. Oh, I thought it would bounce. Oh, I got cooked. I guess he didn't like spoil that part. I see why they gave you 50 Pokeballs there. Yeah. At least be close enough to lock on. Mm. That's Charlie Cat as well. Only one more Pokemon to go. this medicinal leak. Ah, I knew it was the leak. I forgot there's something I have to teach you since you're still new to this. Here's the proper way to throw your partner's Pokeball. As Captain Celine tells us, have an item at the ready. But want to send it a Pokemon? Press X. Have a Pokemon at the ready but you want to throw an item? Press X. The captain's a real expert on these things. 
Try throwing your Pokeball, your Pokemon's ball at rocks or trees like this one to have it investigate. If your Pokemon finds any berries or other items, it'll bring them to you. Now it's time for your partner to shine. We reach your final hurdle, catching a Shinx. Go, 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 Cyntaquil. Warden berries. Oh shit, I got 15 experience for that. Are you sure you know where you're going? Huh. Of course I do, I'm the main character. There, that's Shinx. Shinx has an aggressive disposition. Could you already tell that? Not at all. Not to worry, these things become clear once you focus on their Pokemon or any. Once aggressive Pokemon get irate, they'll knock aside any ball you throw at them. Ah, uh, so the number of arrows over their head. The more arrows you see pointing above, the easier it'll be to catch. An X will appear above a Pokemon it has picked up. Above the Pokemon, if it has picked a fight with you, be warned. Pokemon display this icon it cannot be caught unless you engage them in battle. Don't worry, though. I'll teach you a trick to catching aggressive Pokemon. You've got to battle them. Once they're absorbed with battling, you can throw a Pokeball at them to try to catch them. By now, you've got several Pokemon of your own, don't you? Take one of the Pokeballs and throw it near a wild Pokemon you want to battle. I got no doubt you'll hold your own in battle. It's easy to start a battle against wild Pokemon. Simply throw a Pokeball that contains one of your own Pokemon at it. If you can see that you, you currently have an item ready to throw, not a Pokemon, press X button and allow you to toggle between your thrown items and your Pokemon. <clears throat> uh, no, not be dude. Go, go, Cyndaquil. Okay, fight. Ah, uh, we'll do a quick attack. I don't want to kill his ass. Okay, yeah, here it is. Critical hit. Get the fuck out of here. No, no, don't knock your shake there. Catch it. Even in battle, you can throw an empty Pokeball at it. Like you would any other time. I was dead now. I leveled up. I think. Uh oh. There we go. Alright, we'll, we'll try Ember this time. Shinx is looping around. Oh. Oh yeah, that where the hell's Pokeball then? <laughs> what? Oh. Okay, so this just tells me what's on the field but oh my god I can walk oh wait <laughs> I figured this out a second I gotta throw it but the buttons I need to throw or that's how you throw your oh you gotta press X I was gonna quick attack him. How do you throw it? Oh. RB. Come on, Shinx. There we go. Captain Shinx. 
You approach those Pokemon without a hint of fear and caught each one. You're like a gift from the sky dropped to us. With you at our side, I think the Survey Corps has a real chance of compiling a complete Pokedex as, as we've been ordered. Kiating! This is wonderful. I'm always curious why on earth you came falling from the sky like you did. But for now, let's tell the professor we're ready to head back. Oh, ho I said you'd pass the trial with flying colors, and it seems you went and did just that. Congratulations, Sim. You've taken your first step towards seeking out every Pokemon. This calls for, calls for a commemorative photo. Graph. With your skills like yours, I suppose this was a foregone conclusion. Now then, we'd best report to Captain Silene. Er, Silene? <clears throat> Time to head back to Jubilee Village, eh? Celine, right. Oh, no, no. I can't stop bouncing my legs. <laughs> ADHD going out the head. In time, you'll be able to send Pokemon you've caught to live in the village pastures. Cool. You can bring up to six Pokemon with you into the field in theory. Though we've never had anyone skilled enough to do so. <laughs> Come now, you two. Let's not dilly dally. Captain Selene wants our report at headquarters. I bet Captain Selene will be very pleased. Whoa, you just did it to me. Can I like go into these? I never seen clothes like yours, hon. Where might they be from? A new hairstyle means a fresh outlook, and a fresh outlook that lets you change your fortunes. It seems we won't have to leave you to die after all. Congratulations. You've passed your trial. You can hold on to the set, your satchel. I must admit, you've impressed me. I set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worthy, but you've cleared it. This is yours, the official uniform of the Survey Corps. You're now part of Team Galaxy. <laughs> Get changed in the room you used last night, then you're to report at once to the third floor. Present yourself in uniform to our commander. This is your first official order from your captain. Change outfit. Do you want to change your outfit? Yes. Time to put on your Survey Corps uniform and Survey Corps sense. How do I switch off? Pretty cool. You change into your Survey Corps uniform. Let's go. Look how well our Survey Corps uniform suits you. It's almost as if the captain had it tailored just for you. I see you've changed. Regarding your accommodations, you may continue to use the room you slept in last night. You may wear this as well. Oh yeah, now I'm a true Frenchman. Got the scarf and the hat and everything.
Now present yourself to the commander. Oh. Third floor it is. Is there gym leaders in this? I don't think there is. I've been waiting for you. I am Kamado, commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. Hmm, so you are a sin. It's an honor. You know your manners, at least. I've been briefed on your situation, including how you fell from the rift in the sky. Now then, let's see what you're made of. Face me in combat. Try to throw him, charge at him. We're gonna charge him. Yeah. Hmm, you got bigger. I'll give you that. You need to work on your sumo technique, but I do see some potential. <laughs> Don't expect a warm welcome from everyone. Naturally, some will be slow to trust an outsider who literally fell right out of the blue. The superstitious might, among us might see your rival as a portent of disaster. But you passed a trial that was put to you. No matter how odd you may seem, you're part of Juba Life Village now. I'm a Jube Jube. Dedicated yourself to the work of the Galaxy Expedition Team and complete the Pokédex. But I warn you soon. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work. I need a bow with like a Pokeball on the end of it so I'm gonna like shoot it further. So the commander has always also accepted you. But understand this. You begin as a no-star recruit among our ranks. In other words, you have no rank at all. Perform well as a member of the Survey Corps, and you will move up through the ranks. Indeed, you see, the more you add to the Pokedex, the higher your rank will become. The work and working on your Pokedex will also, of course, bring you closer toward the goal of yours. To seek out every last Pokemon. Here, you will need this. You obtain a recipe for crafting Pokeballs. One a one apricorn and one tumblestone. Cool. At three thousand zenny as well. You have to buy the necessary materials. Akari, you are an expert at crafting yourself. Teach every recruit new recruit what he needs to know. Of course, Captain Selim. Now, as an experienced craftsperson here, let me explain a bit to start with. Crafting means making items with your own two hands. You can buy some items at the general store, but self-sufficiency is worth striving for. You can even make our most valuable tools, Pokeballs. Think where we'd be if we couldn't do that. Let's head to the craft works. The basics of craft. I don't think you can run. There's probably a, a mount that lets you run. Well done, earning a place in our team. My name is a Anthony. I am the local clo clother. The professor asks that I ready you for ready you a change of clothes. So here you go. I do hope they fit. You received everyday kimono and a pair of everyday trousers. I hope you avail yourself of the village's humble shops. This way to the craft works soon. Oh, you can run. You get click the stick. You can use the workbench here at the craft works anytime you need to make an item in the village.
and I'll supply you. I'll supply what you need to make your first book buzz once you're ready to begin. Call it my way of saying, congratulations on joining us. Just spend the money you got from the captain on clothes or whatever you think is best. Go up to the workbench and choose an item to craft, in this case, a Pokeball. You can use the workbenches in Jubilee Village and the base camps to craft Pokeballs and other items. Crafting items requires a recipe and the necessary materials. So, one Apricorn, one Tumblestone. Let's craft all of them. You made 20 Pokeballs. You put them in your satchel. Now I got like 100. The basics of craft. First mission complete. Oh no, that's some fine craftsmanship. Hard to believe this was your first time stepping up to the workbench, my boy. You recall, of course, that Pokemon possess the power to shrink themselves down. With the Pokeballs we craft, we can make use of the power to catch them. Also, also that more Pokemon species can be duly recorded in the Pokedex. And on that note, here you are. Received the Pokedex. It's a book. A volume for compiling the collected results of much Pokemon research. Professor Lavington continually adds to it with each report made on new Pokemon species. Tasked with unreported data. Cyntiquil. Number Cot 1. Times you've seen it use Ember 1. Times you've, used, you've seen it use Quick Attack. Times you've seen it use Flame Wheel. Times you've seen it use a Strong Style move. Times you've seen, seen it use an Agile Style move. It's the number you've evolved. I prepared this volume just for you. I hope it adds, aids you well in your aim to seek out all the Pokemon there are in this grand region. You have to complete lots of research tasks to help the professor fill out the Pokedex. Same goes for me, of course. I've also got Pokemon to research as a survey core member. I'd be all too happy to explain more about the research tasks I could use your assistance with. Come join me at Fieldlands Camp whenever you're ready, my good sin. Activate God. Hey, excuse me. I couldn't help but over here. If you're going to the field lands camp, would you mind taking care of a request for me? I'm standing guard, so I can't leave my post, but I'll be here at the headquarters if you want to talk about it. People have something to ask you will have a request icon displayed above their heads. If you fulfill the request, you may receive a nice reward. So, there's this Pokemon called Wurmple. Have you heard of it? Yeah. Well, you see, I've been having a chat with Professor Lavington, and he told me that after a Pokemon gains a certain amount of experience through battling and the like, it will sometimes change its appearance and become stronger. He said it was a phenomenon called evolution. Some Pokemon can undergo evolution, which changes their appearance and stat. If one of your Pokemon has met the requirement to evolve, you'll be able to select the evolve option when viewing the Pokemon in your satchel. And so I decided I wanted to raise a Wurmple myself and have it evolve. You're part of the Survey Corps, aren't you? If you catch your Wurmple, could you let me have it? There'll be a reward in it for you, I promise. Just give me a Wurmple if you can. Wurmple can evolve. <laughs> His name is Beauregard. Hell yeah. Toshi. I know Shinx's ears had odd markings on the insides, but what were they? No use, I can't remember. This will keep me up all night. Hey, aren't you with the Survey Corps? If you can catch a Shinx, could you show it to me? I've got to see one with my own eyes. Please, I can't remember for the life of me what those ears look like. It's driving me up the wall. Don't I have Shinx? You got one of those Shinx to show me? Yeah, yes I do. Look at that ass. Alright, let's have a quick peek at these little round ears. He's a pervert, bro. 
That's it. Its ears have the yellow cross pattern on them, kind of like a star. Can't tell you what a relief this is. Felt like I had a bone stuck in my throat. Only the throat's my brain, and the bone's the. <laughs> Thanks for helping me get that bone out. Dude, I told you he was a pervert. That was definitely censored for English. Heading inside the village, are we? Stay safe out there, kid. And don't forget that wearable. Yeah, let's go to the field land camp. Now, tutorial over. Thank God. I think. Hopefully. Right on, let's get to it then, shall we? In order to complete this Pokedex of ours, there are many great research tasks I'll need your help to carry out, my boy. The details of these tasks can be found in Pokedex for you to reference any time. Research tasks are tasks you need to carry out to complete the Pokedex. Each Pokemon species has a different number of and variety of research tasks. Press the down button to open your Pokedex and check what kind of research tasks are available for the Pokemon you've registered. When you focused on a wild Pokemon in the field using the ZL button, you can also instantly check the research task for that Pokemon pressing the down button to open your Pokedex right to that page. Some Pokemon have some unusual research tasks. Be sure to check them out. You must catch the battle. Did I miss anything? Uh, oh, sorry. Internet went down for some reason. Did I miss anything? Um, I'm not sure what the last thing you seen was, but... I just kind of went outside town. They told me that uh, he has a mission for me, which he hasn't told me yet. And I picked up two side quests. One was from Beauregard, the guard. He's a guard named Beauregard. And he wanted me to catch a Wurmple. And then the other guy wanted me to show him Shinx's ears. And I called him a pervert because he said he needed to get a bone. He had a bone stuck in his throat and he needed to get the bone out. By looking at Shinx's ears or some shit. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, we're talking to this guy now. And he says, you must catch and battle diverse Pokemon species and carry out plenty of research tasks. Do so and you'll gain research points and other rewards for your work. My internet's been being shit too. One last piece of advice, Sin. If you see a wild Pokemon's attack coming your way, Dodge like your life depends on it. Dodge? Here, watch closely and remember what I do so you can do it later. Huh? Combat roll. That beautiful flowing bit of gymnastics is what we call a dodge. Yeah, the Pokemon attack you in this game, my Martha. Yeah, dude, I've seen that. There's like alpha Pokemon and stuff, which is pretty cool. Pokemon souls like. If you're light on your feet, you can dodge out of the way of a wild Pokemon's attack. That way, hopefully, you can avoid taking a beating and blacking out the wilderness. The security corps had to collect had to collect me when I got the business end of the Shinx the Thundershock. Apparently, they are hard as fuck. Yeah, I heard they're hard. But don't worry. I've got lots of experience to draw on, and I'll teach you plenty. Uh, they all teach you plenty, runs away. Dude, you never even had a, a mission for me. Like, what the hell? Switch your Pokemon there. Now let's share some survey cores with wisdom. Focus on a Pokemon with ZL, then press the down button to open the Pokedex. You'll see what task you have for the Pokemon. You already told me that. You may notice that you have a research task to do with how many beaters you've caught. That's right. Catching just one isn't enough. You need two, then four, then more, and more. Oh my god. You gotta catch everything five times. When it's time to battle a Pokemon, remember the cat the captain's switching wisdom. If you have items out, press X to ready your Pokemon. Give it a try now. Right 
Wrong buttons. Star these down there. I think you've got it, but as a reminder, don't forget to open the Pokédex when you focus on a Pokémon to check your research tasks on it. Oh, I forgot about that. It's just set all them down. Try your tech. Try checking your tasks on Starly next. When the task is catch a Starly without being spotted, right? For that task, try catching them while hiding in some tall grass. I'll go wait for you up ahead. Come catch some once you finish some tasks. Go catch up once you finish some tasks. Uh, okay, so. Lock on. Let's wrap up. Down. Number cop. One out of twenty five. Number defeated twenty. Number you've caught without being spotted. Oh my god, one out of twenty. I heard this was a collectathon on the review. And the first half of the game isn't a collectathon. The second half of the game is a collectathon. So I didn't read all those. Last one was the number of different forms you've obtained. So there's two different types of starlies. That's pretty cool. Uh, you dick. <laughs> this is gonna be harder than I thought it was gonna be. You can lure them with berries too, I'm pretty sure. Berries. Easy experience too. I need to move forward. <laughs> Good thing a controller got aim aim uh, aim bot built into it. Okay. It might not be that hard to catch 20 of everything, I guess. Number caught, 1 out of 25. Number defeated, 1 out of 15. Number you defeated with ground type moves. Times you've seen it use quick attack. Times you've seen it use bite. Number you've seen it got. Okay. You didn't even see it coming. Wait a second. There's a leak over here. And there's a guard up there. To become the Elden Lord, you have to. <laughs> the more energy a Pokemon's got, the harder it'll be to catch. If you battle a Pokemon and lower its HP or maybe inflict paralysis with a move like Shinx's Thundershock, it should be easier to catch. Oh, that's Starly. Getting hella experience just catching shit. So what do I get for completing like one stage of a challenge? Also, 
for this period. Investigate the beauty of that bothered the village. Method unknown. Number of different forms you've obtained, two. I get two different forms of it already. Number of heavy specimens you've caught. One out of seven. Interesting, interesting. I guess boiled apricot for catching. Alright, where is she to? Oh, it's a ladybug. There are strong Pokemon to make their home on the other side of this bridge. I can't let you pass unless you're a first star recruit. Oh, so I need my first first star. My first badge. Let's head over here and see what's on the go. What are you saying? You should have your Pokemon smash open and spark some rocks for you. You'll find tumble stones inside, and it's the same tumble stones you need to craft Pokeballs. I think it's funny that all the NPCs are guards. And they all look exactly the same. <laughs> Around here, you can find a Pokemon called Buizel. It's got an aggressive disposition. Holy shit, a Buizel. That means it'll try to hit you with its moves, just like Shinx. And you'll need to battle it to catch it. If you take too much damage within a short time, you'll be in danger of blacking out. You can tell you're in danger when the edges of your screen turn red. Damage goes away over time, but you won't begin to recover if you're still being targeted by a wild Pokemon. If you take further damage after the edges of the screen have turned red, you'll become overwhelmed and black out. Okay. And speaking of which, your research task for Buizel includes seeing it use a certain move. To be precise, you have to see it use the move in battle. That's right. Some tasks require battling. Now, I'll go on ahead you take care of some of Weasel's research tasks. Then come talk to me. Uh, oops. Weasel's looking around. Fucked up, Weasel. I know he's good against it, but I don't want to kill him either. This she is quick attack. Fuck it. Ah, no critical. Yeah. Oh my God! He attacked twice. What a cheating little bastard. <laughs> Looks better than Scarlet and Violet, yeah. To be fair, the level, like the world looks a little bland, color-wise, but the actual Pokemon look way better. Can I use this? No, he's fainted. That's lame. So I have to see him use a certain move, but all my pals suck. Or not pals, Pokemon. Let's use a Shinx. 
Oops. He's a looking rat. He's quick attack. What the hell? He's cheating. Let me show. Shock. Oh yeah. Oh my god, he's a master. Attacks me as he looks around like there's nothing. That Pokemon. I never played the DLC for Scarlet and Violet yet. Is the second part of the DLC out yet? Is this, uh, is it any good? You're not missing much, to be honest, yeah. I kind of figured. <laughs> That's it, you caught Buizo. I almost, to be fair, I almost never get DLC for games because it's almost always like... I don't know. Not as good as a full game, obviously. I like the Shinx. <laughs> Got him. What was the DLC about? First TLC is better. I never played either one of them. This is about Ogrepan. Is that a place or a Pokemon? Shinx is almost dead here and I got three B deuce. Ugh. Oh, there's a Wurmple. Let's get his Wurmply ass. She's a new legendary. Okay. So what's wrong with that? Or there's nothing wrong, you're just telling me. What was bad about it, I should say. <laughs> I hope this game gets a lot better. Like, not all collecting. They're really good, doing quite well for yourself. Here, a little reward for keeping up with me, your own crafting kit. So what the hell is the point of a crafting kit? A kit containing everything you need for crafting, even when there's no workbench around. However, you can only use the materials you have in your satchel. That makes sense. You can select a crafting kit from the key items pocket in your satchel to craft items whenever, wherever and whenever you like. However, unlike at a workbench, you'll only be able to use the workbench, the materials in your satchel. You won't be able to craft more items in your satchel than hold. There wasn't a lot to the DLC to be honest, but the Ogron part was cool. Was cool. The second DLC was pretty shit. They added the Stellar Terra type, which is dog shit. Stella Terror type. Oh, this is a new kind of Pokemon, isn't it? Or is it like a new type, like fire? Potion. With a crafting kit, you can craft items anywhere using the materials you have in your satchel. So long as you have an apricorn and tombstone, you can make Pokeball anytime. Alright, I gotta skip this because this is like completely obvious. The cover of your Pokeball with the Pokedex will tell you if there are tasks you finish, you can finish and can report. Oh, 24 tasks with unreported data. Oh, what the hell is this UI? Okay, here we go. Okay. Maybe I can't pass it in here. Maybe I have to go somewhere fast. 
Please report back to Professor Lavinson once you've got some research tasks good and done. Stellar Terra type. Stellar is a new type. Really? Stellar. And there's only one Pokemon with Stellar type? Or like any... Not any Pokemon. A lot of Pokemon have Stellar types. Is that what you're saying? Because they're Terra types. The next Pokemon is... I think the next Pokemon is going to be so convoluted it's going to be like Yu-Gi-Oh. Basically, you could Terrastalize to Stellar, which makes your attack super effective against other Terrastalized Pokemon. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if I like that. That sounds really weird. Like, there's no trainers anywhere? What is this? Let's go pass in our task and see what we get. It's basically ignored in competitive Pokemon because it's just too bad. Oh, okay, I gotcha. It's, if it isn't a crafting kit, you must have listened attentively to Akira's teachings. Excellent, dear boy. Excellent work, dear boy. This seems a good time to explain to you about survey reports and the rewards they offer. When you submit survey reports, they'll receive money based on the level and the number of Pokemon you've caught. You'll receive more money if you fulfilled certain conditions, such as catching a species for the first time. On that note, let me check the research tasks you've completed thus far. Mm hmm, I see. Most illuminating. I'll update our Pokedex with this new data. By carrying out research tests and submitting survey reports to raise the research levels of the Pokemon species, Pokemon species you encounter. If you raise a Pokemon's entry to level 10, that entry will be considered complete and you will have unlocked all the detailed information to be had about that species. As you carry out tasks and complete the Pokedex entries for the different species, you'll also gain Pokemon research points which you can view on the cover of your Pokédex. Once you've earned a certain number of points, you'll be able to move up to the ranks of the Galaxy Expedition Team. <laughs> preferred foods. See, like, I like the preferred foods. I like the throwing, and the, the catching is okay. But I don't like having to go around and catch, like, a hundred of one thing just to level up. Ah, not quite there yet, I'm afraid. You'll need to complete a few more tasks for you ready to go up a rank. I'd recommend you work on your way through Vidus and Starly's tasks first. Weird. Like, I, like I had to go and catch like 10 more Starlies now? Like, what the fuck? I'd rather, I'd rather do Shinx's if it actually makes the Pokemon stronger somehow. Also, did he heal my Cyndaquil? No. What a douchebag. Oh, I gotta fight this guy, don't I? 
Shit. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> the controls are a little weird. Like, why is roll? For instance. That might be because I'm using an Xbox controller or something. I don't know. Oh shit, I didn't mean to use roll it. Like I went to the Pokeball and then I clicked A and I went to roll it. It's like you can easily tell this is the first type of this kind of game they made. So let's do ya. Okay, so Shinx is looking around. Wild Shinx use quick attack. Oh my god, it's half my health. Roll it. Avoidity attack. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, there's two of them now. He just walked up while we were fighting. Oh, he's fixated on using roll it. Okay. X. Yes. Roll. Yeah, press RB and then A instead of just A. There we go. Battling is cool. I like the battling. They should have did a lot. Like leveling should be based on battling, in my opinion. Items. RB. It might be though. We're pretty early in the game. See you catch shanks. Snorlax, what the fuck? There <laughs> ain't no way, bro. He's gonna kill my ass. Run! <laughs> Blacking out in this bitch. Don't cross the bit. Don't cross the bridge. Could be strong Pokemon over here. Walks down here. Fucking Snorlax with Thunderbolt. Like what the hell? Go Shanks. My only hope. He's level 45. You got this. Easy. Quick attack. <laughs> Yeah, dude, there ain't no Snorlax level 10. You know that. I knew that as soon as I seen him that he wouldn't level 10. <laughs> I didn't think he was 45, though. I'm so dead. This, can we... Should we just run? Let's try to run. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
he ain't sleeping. <laughs> Don't need no pokey flute for his ass. Yeah, he was an alpha. Alpha Snorlax. Oh, you dick. Got you right in the ass. Ooh, you want some, huh? Go, yeah, battle. B Duke, no. My last bee doof. Oh no, bee doof. He's a tough one. He can take two thunder shocks. Would have died. Alright, but I'm never gonna get you get used to XRBA to throw a Pokeball. Like holy shit. They should have just made it like left on the D-pad or something. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy. I'm getting used to it though. It's not, it's not like uh, ruins the game or anything, but. I bet you some of these tasks are so hard to do. Someone, uh, the person that did the review said some of the, one of the tasks took her like two or three hours to do. Because <laughs> they had to get like, uh, they had to find this Pokemon and they had to get it to use it to, uh, like a certain move, I guess, right? <laughs> but that was in the second half of the game. Who, who heals me here? I just playing this nuzzle lock. Wait, so I can wait. Until night. Get some good Pokemon. I should get a team started instead of having like three Beatus. Yeah, I'll report my rankings. Form one. Form two. Oh, so it's male and female. See the tuft on his head? <laughs> Research task completed. Species with new. Okay. Total points. You made good progress on these research tasks, in. I do believe you're ready to move up the ranks. Let's head back to the village and report the good news to Captain Selene. It's time you earn yourself a star. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay. It's like, wow, it's so beautiful over there, but it's like so ugly over there for some reason. Why is that? I don't get it. Yeah. Uh. 
<laughs> I don't know if it's because I'm emulating it, but we'll just say it's because I'm emulating it. You're the, newcom you're the newcomer who fell from the sky. Are you heading inside the village? Of course you are. The Survey Corps must have to get out and about to compile that Pokedex book they're working on, right? Well, you're way kindly... Well, on your way, kindly do me a favor. Find out that Starly. Pokemon certainly are terrifying creatures, but when I see Starly, I simply feel whole. I feel simply whole. Not that I have the least desire to actually touch one, mind you. Please, let me see Starly's entry in that Pokedex the moment you've completed it. I'll never remember where she's to. Jeez, get cloudy all of a sudden. <laughs> if you have progress to report, I will judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokedex. They must have like uh yeah, the weather in Hosui is fucked up. Yeah, dude, I heard they had DEI down in Pokemon when this was going on. That must be what happened. Hmm, you have made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. With this, you have officially attained the rank first star in the Galaxy Expedition team. Oh my fucking god, so many ranks. One, two, three. That's ten ranks, I think. You can now use heavy balls. Pokemon is up to level 20 will obey your orders reliably in battle. The rewards you earn for your survey reports will be more generous than that to you. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. What I did there, like, I didn't feel like I did anything. And now I've beaten the gym leader, right? And now I unlock more stuff, and I'm just like, I feel like I haven't even done anything yet. Add these as well. They are further recipes you'll need for crafting. I really hope there's trainers in this game. You obtained a recipe for crafting heavy balls. Revives, nice. That a stranger like you should fall from the sky and yet flourish among us like this is a testament to your native talent and hard work. Most people prefer it when things are simple enough to be judged on face value alone and proving your worth by moving up through our ranks is something anyone can understand. Keep at it and even if you did fall from the sky, people may be more willing to accept you. Working your way through the ranks will also be a help if you wish to make your life, make a life for yourself here. A higher rank will grant you access to more types of Pokeballs and greater rewards. Okay. For today, at least, you've earned yourself a meal at the Wallflower and a good night's rest. Hell yeah, I like the loading screen button. You can't see it, but it's a tear in the sky. <laughs> Wait, let me I guess it doesn't matter anyway. So Sin, my boy. I believe a jolly good congratulations is in order. Well done on earning your first star rank. Potato Moochie tastes so much better when you have something to be happy about. What's is everyone just eating Moochie in Japan lately or what? All the games have Moochie in it, like Monster Hunter and shit. Still, we'll be very busy from now on between our Survey Corps duties and requests from folks here. Which reminds me, have you already taken on the request from Beauregard? I did, and I have his Wurmple. The people of Jubilife aren't too familiar with Pokemon, you see? So if problems arise, the Survey Corps gets called to help. Indeed, so some people will ask you to help when you talk to them, while other requests will need to be claimed from the Blackboard. I keep in my lab. Speaking of which, weren't you approached with a request recently, Akari? What's it all about? About that. I was thinking maybe Sin could handle it for me. I was told it would require a bit of skill with battling Pokemon, so... 
Ah, yes, that request came from Mai of the Diamond Clan, if I recall correctly. The people of the Diamond Clan have lived here in Hawaii since before the Galaxy Team arrived. If we could establish good relations, I'm sure there is much we might learn from them, including more about the local, local Pokemon. But if we can discuss all that tomorrow, for today we should eat up and get some rest. Diamond Clan. The next day. Listen, do you have a bit of time after this? There's something I could use your help with. Alright. <laughs> I was going to say no, but... My internet keeps shitting out and I keep losing my place in dun my dungeon queue for fuck my life. Is it because of the weather? I was having some trouble with my stream too, because I... I fixed my stream, or I thought I fixed it for good. And then an hour into the stream, I started dropping frames again, and I was like, God damn. <laughs> but when I looked, my bitrate was only at um, 200,000 bytes. And it should be up to a million bytes. So, I was only getting 20% of my upload speed for some reason. And I was watching it on the resource manager to make sure. <laughs> yeah, I think it's the, it must be the weather. I just, it came up on my phone too that there's a uh, tropical storm somewhere. Come, I don't know if it's coming or it's here. Uh, hurricane threat to Windward Islands, whatever that means. Thank you, I've been waiting for you at the training ground then. If you caught a lot of Pokemon, you might want to visit the pastures to change up your team. Yeah, I definitely need to do that. Feels bad, man. Yeah, I might call it quits here too. Finish up the rest of this. Maybe the sky will be back tomorrow. Hell oh, yeah, I'm glad you liked the stream. I'll, uh, I'll save it for when you're on. <sighs> Night, man. <laughs>